What's up gorgeous? Welcome back to my channel. We are going to have a look at what might be going on with you and your person, but mostly what their feelings for you are. Maybe have a look at some channeled messages, have a look at some oracle cards, some charms, and we're going to do everything. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two different decks and I'm going to look at your feelings for them on one side and their feelings for you on the other. We're going to look at mutual energies and then I will pull some uh, messages from them and see exactly what may be going on and what they're currently based on today's energies, what they might be feeling for you. So as always, please remember that just because you are in Aries does not mean that any part of this reading will resonate with you. So like I always say, please just remember to take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else to grab. Do not try and force your story <laughs> to resonate with the reading if it does not fit it. Okay. If you didn't know, I have personal readings available on my website. The link is in the description box below but they do book very quickly every morning, probably around 12 p.m. Um, I have to close out the same day emergency reading add-on because I do get a lot of those. And if I have a bunch of them for the same day, I can't get them all done for the same day. So just know that if you do want a personal reading, I'm always happy to give them, uh, but they do book up quickly. So check out the link in the description box and make sure you get it taken care of. So you're not waiting too long in line. Okay. All right, spirit Aries, let's see what is going on with you and your person. Let's first check your energies and feelings for them. So spirit, what is Aries currently feeling about their person? What are their feelings for this person? Oh. Okay, Nine of Cups. You guys have a lot of hopes for this connection, for this person. Some of you might have been with this person already, um, and this has been going on for a while, and you sort of feel like your dreams and your wishes have come true, like with this person entering your life. So what else? Oh, King of Pentacles. All right, Aries, you might be dealing with an Earth sign. You don't have to be, do not have to be, but um, earth signs are good. My husband's an earth sign. <laughs> you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. What are their feelings for this person? What is Aries' feelings for this person? Knight of Wands, okay. Hmm. What is Aries' feelings for this person? Let's get one more. Thank you. Ace of Cups. All right, lots of good stuff here, you guys. So I feel like this person excites you. They definitely excite excite you, but you also feel like they're grounded. Um, they could be very successful, very stable financially. It doesn't have to be. Some of you, that will be the case. Um, but this could be this could be a really good thing. For some, in some instances, this is this is a new love for you that just started recently. Let's see. All right, let's do it. What are this person's feelings for Aries? What are this person's, whoa. What are this person's feelings for Aries, please? Thank you. Four of Cups. Hmm. All right. What's going on here? Four of Cups. Let's see. What else? What is? What are? Uh, what are this person's feelings for Aries, please? How are they feeling for my Aries? What is this person? Oh. Okay, Knight of Wands, wow. So both of you are feeling Knight of Wands for each other. 
All right, there's a lot of sexual attraction in this connection. A lot. There's a lot of sexual chemistry. You are both very sexually attracted to each other. What else is this person feeling? What are this person's feelings for Aries, please? Four of Pentacles, another four. Huh. Okay. And then the Page of Cups. This is interesting. Wow, lots of cups and pentacles. You guys could be dealing, well, some of you, some of you are definitely dealing with another Aries. Some of you could be dealing with a, with an earth sign. And I think many of you are dealing with a water sign. Um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You know what they say about fire and water though. Hmm. Okay, let's get the mutual energies between the two of you. Spirit, what is the mutual energy between Aries and this person? What is the mutual energy between the two of them? Whoa. All right. Well, you and this person, Aries... You both, damn, you both want um, this happy ending, this happy family, this, you know, this big happily ever after sort of thing. You both want that. When that comes up as mutual energy, that's beautiful. Hmm. All right. So then what is the problem here? Or is there no problem? No, I think there's definitely a slight problem. A slight one. I think some of you are dealing with a person who is, at the moment, just bored. Um, and a little unsatisfied, if I'm honest. With what? I don't know. Let's clarify that. Let's see. Spirit, clarify Four of Cups, please clarify their feelings for Aries. What's the Four of Cups all about? Clarify the Four of Cups, please. Oi. Why? Why would you do that? Oi, oi, oi. All right. Oh, we got Knight of Pentacles there. That came through. Okay. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because if you know about the Knight of Pentacles, he's the slowest moving knight in the deck, and yet he flew across the board. <laughs> like, you're bad out of hell. Okay. Oh, the irony. All right. Well, so Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, something is going on with your person. This might be moving way too slow for them. This might be, for some of you, this might be moving too slow. Um, for others, though, because again, pentacles here. For others, some of you might be dealing with a person who... might be financially either struggling or just focused on that I feel and I feel like a lot of their energy is is being put towards that rather than towards this even though they want this if that makes sense that's not going to be for everybody but it's, that's for some of you though that's definitely for some of you because I see it but then the Page of Cups is all about being like this dreamer, right? Creativity, um, definitely love. So their feelings for you, they think you're, I mean, they definitely have a thing for you. And it's not just sexual either because both of you have cups, Page of Cups and Ace of Cups. I don't feel like there's a distance here 
for many of you, I feel like you are currently in contact with this person. I don't feel like there's a distance here at all. So maybe a lot of you just want to know what is what they want to say to you, what they're feeling. Well, this is what they're feeling. They're definitely sexually attracted to you. There's definitely, for some, love there. For others, growing into love, for sure. And you both have this desire to have this happy ending. Let me clarify the Four of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify the Four of Pentacles for this person's feelings for Aries. Why the Four of Pentacles? Why the Four of Pentacles, please? Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I think that they, like I said before, I think some of them are focused on their money at the moment. Focused on their job. Focused on building um, some sort of stability business-wise or with you. But they're focused on doing that and they are, they're definitely preoccupied with it. Some. Let's see. Let's get um let's get some of this going on here. Spirit, tell me more about Aries in this person. Tell me more about Aries in this person, please. What is the deal? What is the situation all about? What else do I need to know about Aries and this person? Thank you. Boat. Um, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, or closure issues. Okay. That might resonate with some of you. I feel like I feel like this person in some cases is the one that is having closure issues with some situation especially with that 4 of cups there. I'm not sure. Let's see what else. What else do I need to know about this connection? Thank you. Talking. Okay. Interested conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. Is this supposed to say hovering? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think a lot of you are in contact with this person. Many times I do readings and I instantly feel like there's a separation, but I don't feel that with, with this for many of you. Okay, uh, let's get one other card, Spirit. Tell me more about Aries and this person. What else do I need to know about this situation? Thank you. Date, okay. Date, meeting someone new, dating, get get back out there, plan, set a date. Okay, yeah, this, I feel like this is new. I feel like this is definitely new. And with the Ten of Cups as your mutual energy, I feel like some of you met on a dating website, specifically looking for that, like, long-term forever partner and you both do want that yeah i definitely feel like some of you met on a site specifically for dating let's get some messages let's see what does this person want to say to aries spirit Sometimes we just don't know, and we need the cards to kind of tell us. All right. Tell me 
what does this person want to say to my Aries if they could tell them something right now? What would they say? What does this person want to say to Aries, please? Oh, way too many. What does this person want to say to Aries right now? Maybe a break would help us. Okay. I don't think that's going to be for a lot of you. I think that's for a very small amount that might resonate with. Because I don't see any real strong issues here. What else does this person want to say to Aries, please? Thank you. I'm distant right now because I don't know how you feel anymore. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else does this person want to say to Aries right now? can't imagine my life without you in it. What does this person want to say to Aries? Eh. I watch your videos on Facebook, but you don't know. Okay. If you're not on Facebook, Switch out Facebook for TikTok or whatever else you want to. <laughs> okay. What else would this person say to Aries? I need you. Mm. Let's get one more. What is this? does this person want to say to Aries right now? Almost. There we go. Ooh. Some of you are dealing with something. This is all your fault? I don't know about that one. I'm not buying that. I don't see it. I don't see it in the cards. Let me pull one more. What else does this person want to say to my Aries, please? Can I come over? Oh boy. We got, I need you. Can I come over? <laughs> Where is this going? All right. So let's check out. Let's check out a, an Oracle card. Let's see what spirit wants to say about this connection. What does spirit want to say about this? What do you want to say to Aries spirit? What do you want to say to Aries, please? Okay. What message do you have for Aries? What they, whoa. Higher power, number four. The month of April or the number four could be significant to either of you. Let's see. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Hmm. Okay. So you and this person have some sort of a bond here. A good one. A very good one. Spirit, what does Aries need to know right now? What do you want to tell Aries? Ooh. Too many. What do you want 
to tell Aries Spirit. Alright, Spirit's telling me to pick one. I just heard this. I don't normally pick, but I just heard it, so... I was eyeing this one. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty. Wow. Okay. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. So again, higher power. There's a definite, definite bond between you and this person for many of you. For many of you. There's a very strong, like, divinely guided bond here. Let's get some charms. Okay. Uh, cover your ears. It's going to be loud. Okay. What do we have here? See, there's that money again. I never get this, but like I said before, I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who's focused on their money. I think I'm right. <laughs> I've never, ever gotten that. Um, what else we got? We got the heart, obvious. <laughs> There's definitely love there. There's a bow. I've never gotten that before. It's, these charms sometimes can be very literal in the fact that like you could, you could just love shopping. Or... Some of you are with somebody who is very fashionable and things like that. Yeah, I kind of get that because then there's a poodle here. Never gotten the poodle. Um, this person could be an animal lover. You can be an animal lover. You could own a poodle. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. There's a wrench. And then there is a, that's like the cutest little wrench. And then there is a, a guy that is walking with a ladder. So building, working on something, fixing things. So some of you, again, are dealing with somebody who is building a business at the moment or building their income. I really feel this, especially with the King of Pentacles as your feelings for them. I really, really feel that. Starfish. Starfish. Um, when I see the star, it's all about hope and um, just like eternal happiness sort of a thing. I never got this. This is the rabbit. <laughs> well, my first thought is that both of you feel the Knight of Wands for each other. So sexually, there you go. All right. Well, I think this is a good thing. I don't really see many issues with, with you guys and this person. And if there are issues going on with you, Aries, and somebody else, you're a special person, um, then this was not the reading for you. But for most of you, you're doing good right now. Um, and if you had questions about this person, they, they just like you, feel that they want that happy ending with you, that, happy, that happily ever after. So, all right. All right. There you go. Have a good one. I will see you guys soon. Bye.